dear students welcome to the lecture on group discussion today we are going to be looking at the perspectives of group discussion let's firstly understand what is group discussion a group is usually defined as a number of persons are engaged in an interaction with one another the interaction could be between um, you know two people or more than two people it could uh, refer to formal interaction or informal interaction and it could also be conducted during a single meeting or a series of meeting in the course of meetings each member receives some impression of every their other member and develops acquaintance a group has a common purpose and develops norms for interpersonal relationships and helps you know your qualities as a leader or as a follower the size of the group could range from 8 to 12 persons you understand that group discussion is often help for solving problem or to take decision to select candidates for higher studies or for various other purposes we shall discuss them at length eventually the size of the group uh, as we discussed could uh, range from 8 to 12 people the members of the group generally sit in a circle the examiner then assigns a topic of group discussion the examiner does not essentially need to participate in the discussion rather the examiner observes the member who are participating and uh, eventually marks them or grades them on the basis of the performance of the participants now as we know about it that uh, group communication is uh, a very stimulated is uh, stimulating communication activity and uh, it requires certain amount of skill it requires certain amount of training for you to look at various possibilities that you could explore while you are to present multiple point of views it also gives a sense of participation to all the people who are participating now since it requires certain kind of skill and training we shall look at how is it possible for us to look at the ability to participate effectively in group discussion becomes an asset for us the purpose of group discussion primarily is to understand that there are two people who will be involved uh, there will be some kind of problem solving that is to be done it could also be with regard to taking a decision it could be regarding selection of candidates for higher studies or for an interview for understanding a particular situation at the workplace or to explore various other possibilities that are there now each candidate could have a different purpose altogether as well as you can see in the picture there are people who have different ideas or thoughts that are being discussed here the problems of group discussion include that sometimes the communication when there are more than two people involved you might find certain kind of barriers might operate specifically when the number of people involved increases the participants as well as leaders need to have meeting skills otherwise the meeting can be very frustrating and could end up as a waste of time one of the worst problems in group communication is not being able to come to a conclusion with re within a reasonable time meeting that goes for too long does not produce good decisions and is usually frustrating for the other members of the group so in order to overcome the problems one must ensure success of the group communication the leader must have the required skill to conduct the meeting and lead the discussion the other members will also have certain kind of commitment and skill to take part in the group discussion now let's look at the objectives of group discussion it could be to arrive at consensus to get feedback to solve a problem to collect ideas to understand the situation 
to learn and train to inform and explain further as we see group discussion meetings can also be classified on the basis of the purpose for which these meetings are held in this slide let's look at the first kind of meeting which involves group discussion first is discussion or meeting committees or board of directors and uh, specifically appointed bodies with the powers to take decisions on behalf of the parent body or appointing authority holds decision making meetings these are the discussion meetings the next is executive meeting where in some committees like the board of directors or the executive council have powers to implement the decision which they may review uh, on the basis of the recommendations of the other bodies and eventually take decision on their own so these uh, bodies like board of directors and executive council hold meetings at which they pass order and give instructions for carrying out certain amount certain kind of work the next is consulting meeting you can also call it consultation meeting which is an advisory body which consists of experts who hold the meeting to discuss and advise other bodies they do not have powers to take any decision or action but joint consultation between department sections or other related bodies could be an example of consultation meeting next is briefing meeting where giving information is the main function a prepared note of briefing could be read out questions and requests for clarification could be answered but there is no discussion at briefing meeting problem solving meeting a meeting of all those concerned with particular activity where the problem is found may be called for a specific purpose of solving a particular problem every member here contributes by looking at the problem from his or her point of view and task and then any of those blocks can be dealt within coordination next is negotiation meeting which is characterized by the presence of two clearly competing sides when parties with competing interests like buyer or seller or two separate organizations which want to collaborate or employer or employee need to settle their differences they meet to discuss and arrive at agreement it may take a series of meeting to come to an agreement each side is usually briefed by the authorities that they have come to represent and their agreement has to be ratified by the parent body of each side the group discussion usually is informal it can be very stimulating and useful activity in an organization as it helps you understand a particular situation it also helps you explore possibilities in solving problem and it generates a multiple point of view it gives you a sense of participation it uh, usually is used as a tool for selecting candidates by judging and observing leadership quality behavior and abilities of the individual who are taking part in group discussion next is conference a conference is a meeting of a large group of uh, people who have assembled for a purpose of discussing common problem or activity the number of participants could range from 10 to 100 or more a large conference could usually be divided into small groups for the purpose of discussion the participants may not be from the same organization here next is committee meeting a committee is a small group of people who are entrusted with special business tasks who are appointed for uh appointed by a bigger group or uh, or authority the committee is basically used as a tool of administration and management and is expected to complete a task within a given time it is uh, often required for a task um to be noted down to maintain the record of minutes of meeting where they prepare a report where the committee prepares a report and its conclusion and submits it to the appointing authority the size of committee could vary from uh you know on the basis of how it works sometimes a large committee may not be able to arrive at a decision because there are too many differences of opinion on the other hand a very small committee could uh, finally be able to 
help you reach the conclusion but at the same time sometimes you find that it could also lead to lack of information that is required so committees further can be divided into sub committees uh, which are which include like sub committee ad hoc committee standing committee or special committee the advantage of uh, setting up committee includes that uh, it allows number of different interests to gain representation it builds uh, morale when everyone is consulted no one is offended and so the argument goes uh, usually in the favor hearing many point of views or uh, regularizing consultation is possible serving as a motivational tool by allowing all participants who are involved helps uh, these committees as a very different and essential model in an organization whereas when we look at the disadvantages it uh, usually these committees tend to consume a great deal of time and it is often to avoid action rather than um take the action it avoids or shifts responsibility for unpopular or risky decisions it also encourages compromise so on the basis of what we have learned today we shall look forward to the part 2 of group discussion wherein we shall further look at advantages and disadvantages of group discussion with certain tips of group discussion for you to perform well and develop your own skill till then please make sure you understand the qualities of group discussion of how you speak how you behave in a group discussion shall matter keep performing keep giving your best thank you